What was the largest animal the Neanderthals ever encountered? Stay tuned and I hope I can answer that in the video. A lot of you may be thinking it is the woolly mammoth, and yes you would be right in thinking it was the woolly mammoth, but as we are about to find out, that is incorrect. Yes, the mammoth was a very large elephantite, however, they on average were no bigger than the Asian elephant. So what was the largest animal Neanderthals hunted? It is another member of the elephant family, a type of forest elephant many know as the straight tusked elephant. These massive beasts were nearly 15 feet tall, whereas the mammoth only got to around 11 feet, and it weighed around 16 tons. This species of elephant thrived in small herds during the interglacial periods when its habitat would have stretched all the way to the northern UK. Many sites across Europe have the remains of straight tusked elephants with stone tools. One site that dates back to the Emian period in Germany even has a yew wood spear and many stone lithics next to or inside the skeleton of a straight tusked elephant. There are also many sites across Europe and the UK where the evidence is unclear, but it might suggest Paleolithic people, the Neanderthals, were simply scavenging on previously dead animals. One example near Swanscombe, UK was found lying at the edge of what once would have been a small lake around 400,000 years ago. The skeleton of a straight tusked elephant was found with flint tools scattered around suggesting that the animal had been cut up, possibly even scavenged and not hunted. One more site I want to talk about, and this is probably the most famous site, was found in Schoenigen, Germany. This site previously yielded eight wooden spears together with an approximately 16,000 animal bones. Sabertooth cat, horses, aurochs, and many more. Anyways, I'd like to get back to the point. An almost complete 300,000-year-old elephant skeleton was found at the site of Schoenigen. Middle Paleolithic people are thought to have eaten from the carcass as 30 small flint flakes and two long bones used for sharpening tools were found among the remains. Judging by her tooth wear, the elephant turned out to be female. She also had, I think it was an 18-foot long tusk, but uh, again, back to the point. It is thought that this elephant passed away from old age rather than being hunted. Well, there you have it. I hope you learned something new. I hope I taught you something. And um, I apologize for it being so short. I'm trying to get back into making these type of videos. I do enjoy making them. I really like to learn as much as I can. I like to research. Um, I've just been kind of in a rough spot right now, you know, being banned from Facebook and all that. Not really banned, but shadow banned. It's just as worse, let's be honest. Um, but if you could like, share, and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. Uh, again, I love you all. This has been your favorite Neanderthal, Joe, and I am signing off. Bye now. Got a whole pocket full now. Uh, I'm not really collecting it from the bottom. I'm leaving that to squirrels and rabbits and all that. I'm more collecting it from the top where they can't reach. Uh, I can't really reach it either because I've got stumpy little arms. But Oh well, collecting rose hibs. That's the bush it's coming from. Unfortunately, a tree fell on it. But there's already, this whole thing's basically rose hibs, but this, uh, this main one right here seems to be growing the most. Just look at the size of those stalks right there. Alright, see you guys. Thanks for watching the video, by the way. Love you all.